Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're going to be learning how to set up our own custom face expressions so that you can take your normal Unity package and what you're given and go a step beyond that by setting up your own faces that you want, whether it's a custom angry face, or maybe you want a different happy face, or maybe you want to set up a different sad face. And so what we're going to do is we're going to hop into Unity and learn how to do this ourselves. Hopping right into Unity, we're going to be using right defaults off in this video for our face expressions. So if you don't know how to do that, Cam has made a wonderful video explaining the differences between right defaults on and off. So hopping into our folder here, we're just gonna right click and do create and then animation. And we're gonna make an idle face animation here. You're gonna need this too because we're gonna be resetting our face blend shapes with this animation. Now I'm just gonna speed up here and make a few more faces. However, you can make as many as you want. We're just going to be using three here. Now we'll head up to our animator and click the plus sign here. And we're going to make an expressions layer. And then we're also going to make a reset expressions layer. We're going to put our reset expressions layer on the top and then our expressions just below that and change the layer weight to one. You want the reset expressions layer on top of the expressions layer so that the animations will properly reset when you're not doing a face gesture. Now we'll put our idle face and our reset expressions here and we're going to turn right defaults off. Now we go down to our idle face animation and we're going to turn loop time on, which will allow us to constantly play the idle face over and over again, continually resetting our face. Next, we're going to make an empty clip, which will be our default state. And this will allow us to essentially reset our face animation by playing a clip that plays nothing whenever we're not making a hand gesture. Make sure you turn off right defaults and then we'll drag and drop in our different faces here. And I'm just going to rearrange them here in the order that I want. For you, you might have seven, but again, make sure you turn off right defaults if you're following along with this guide here. We're just going to make a transition from our any state to each of these. And here, this will depend on what you're doing, but typically you have gesture right and gesture left, and they will go from zero to seven. And we're going to make our fixed duration 0.1 for our transition duration and make sure you turn off can transition to self. Now we're just setting our gesture right equals here and I'll throw up a list of different gestures and what they are equivalent to in game. But we're just going to be using gesture right equals one, gesture right equals three and gesture right equals four here. These values are respective to closed hand, finger point and peace sign. Again, you can use different hand gestures based on what you're wanting to do. I'm just giving you an example here. We're going to make an any state back to our empty clip. And again, we're going to make sure that our fixed duration is set to 0.1 and we're going to turn off can transition to self and gesture right equals zero here. Now you're going to want to make sure you do this for a left hand gesture as well. So you'll want to do this in a different layer for the left side. Now we'll click on our avatars base and we're going to go to our body and we're going to record our idle face animation here. We'll head over to our blend shapes. For me, it's on my body, but for you, it might be on a face. Make sure that you do not record any of the VRC underscore blend shapes as these are pertaining to visemes and things that you don't want to mess with here. Now we want our underbite to always be on. So we're gonna slide this to 100 and you wanna include this in all of your other animations. We're then going to fiddle with different blend shape values here to find the look that we want for our default face value. So we're just going to slide our eyes content and our mouth cat here. And then what you're going to want to do after this is zero out all of the other blend shapes that are going to be affecting your face that aren't visemes. So they aren't the VRC underscore visemes here. What this will do is this will allow us to reset all of our blend shapes and make sure you add that second keyframe there so you can see that our idle face fires quickly over and over again. Next, we're going to record our empty clip here so that we have an animation that plays nothing so that our reset layer can appropriately reset our face blend shapes whenever we're not doing a hand gesture. Again, if you don't understand the importance of the reset layer, I'd encourage you to go watch Cam's video on explaining what this is for. I will link the video in the description below. It's a great video explaining right defaults. Now we're going to go to our happy face and again we're going to our body to record these blend shapes for you it might be on your face but wherever it is you want to click on that and then go to your blend shapes and we're going to record the different values here so that we can set up our face expression you don't need to zero out the other blend shapes on this one you just want to set up your animation to have what you want for your happy face next we'll head to our angry face here 
And I would encourage you to just try different uh, blend shapes depending on what you're trying to do for your face. Sometimes you can end up using blend shapes that aren't originally intended for that kind of face and mix them together to get a face animation that you might actually really end up liking here. For example, I used Mouse Surprised here in my angry face to give it a little bit of an open mouth whenever I'm angry. So just experiment with it and try what you want. And lastly here, we're going to head to our tongue blup face. And we're just going to, again, record our different animations here. And something that I forgot to do in the other ones, which I go back and do, is make sure that if you have a blend shape, such as the underbite here, that needs to be on in all of them, then make sure that that is on. Because if you play your animation for your angry face and you don't have the underbite at 100%, then it's actually going to make like your teeth or whatever you're wanting to have out at, this, at that time disappear, which you don't want. And so again, just testing out our animations here after we have fixed the underbite. Uh, well, you can see that uh, the underbite is there and all of our face animations work correctly whenever we do the different gestures. All right, hopefully you guys found this video helpful for setting up face expressions on your avatar. If there's anything that you think I missed or if there's a tutorial or video you want me to make, just let me know in the comments down below. And I do my best to respond to everyone that I can. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. See ya.